Morning. Today is a work day on the homestead and Hobbs is out getting some supplies and then he'll be back and we'll get back to fence building. But uh, to give myself a little boost for the day and uh, you know I don't think to go to something sweet. I think to go to savory. I like savory in the morning and if I'm feeling down, feeling low, um, my form of savory is greens. So I go straight to the greens garden and I pick a bunch of good stuff and then I chop it up with uh, you know I fry the garlic. I chop this into it cook it down and just eat a big giant bowl of it and then I just feel a rush of nutrition through my body and ready to get to work. So um, I'm going to take you through the greens garden really quickly and we're going to have a look at what's in there and what I would pick for my uh, green goulash. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. It's just a bowl of greens and it's so good for you um, and it makes me feel so awesome and this is something in our family we've always done. Greens on the table are an everyday must and um, I really think uh, you ought to try it. You might like it. So the green garden, that's why I keep it so close to the house. It's over here right outside the house, right outside the B&B &B entrance. And um, I come into it every day. I come into it every day. So let's have a look. So arugula. Yes, you can cook down arugula. You don't need too much of it. It's going to seed, but I don't care. I still pick from it. It's still really tasty. When you cook it down, it's just a little hint of something nutty in your mixture. So even when it goes to seed, I'm still picking it, I'm still including it. So that's a definite M. Let's go around this way. Even unidentified greens, okay, they're not unidentified. I know it's some form of lettuce or something, but um, I will include that too. Like you, for example, I don't know what this guy's name is, but I'll take a bit of him. This is sorrel. It's got a really interesting lemony flavor. So you're in for sure. I love getting a little burst of that. These are the carrots growing in the understory here and as I eat all of these greens and, and they go to seed, um, then the carrots will get more space to grow. Of course, Swiss chard. This guy reseeded from last year. I'm happy for that. I'll take it. I don't mind. If you want to be here, you're welcome to be here. And obviously, I eat lots of it. So that's a definite in. Over here is um, Claytonia. Claytonia. Gosh, it's so pretty. It's also called miner's lettuce. Um, it's a perennial. It comes back by self seeding. I'm not going to include him today. He looks sad and he's ready to go. He's full seed mode. A few more lettuces. Most of the lettuces I try to keep for our evening salads because we eat those daily. Oh, there's a snail. Hi, buddy. Come hang out over here instead. Go there. Thank you. Goodbye. One of my favorites, so the lettuces go in. Another one of my favorites is these mustard greens. Mustard greens. I had no idea about these. Are you kidding? They're so delicious. And with garlic, if you like rapini, if you like rapini, rapini can no longer be grown once it gets really warm because rapini is a cool weather crop. But mustard greens tend to go a little bit later into the seasons. So like we're, you know, we're into summer now and we're still getting mustard greens, so I think that's awesome. So if there's certain flavors and things that you like, it's great to have them in succession. So the rapini come first, super early in the spring. The mustard greens come up next, and I think in about a week they'll be going to seed, so we'll enjoy as many of these as we can. That definitely goes into the pot you're in. And then next what comes up are the collard greens. These are collard greens. These are delicious. We'll pick several of those. And that these will go into the mix. Delish. Some people don't like the hard stalks. I just chop them really finely and they go in too. Okay, you're coming with me. And then Swiss chard. I have so many different types of Swiss chard, I don't even know what they are anymore. But I have little labels, but then Mother Nature played this funny joke on me and she bleached all the words off of all the little sticks where I wrote what I had planted here. So I just get to be surprised. So Swiss chard. Got some rainbow Swiss chard over there making its way. And if your radishes are really young, you can eat the radish leaves as well. You can throw them in. But lots of different types of Swiss chard here. We still have some of this, um, what are you? You are spinach. Spinach going to seed. But no matter. We'll take him with us. Delish. Thank you, spinach. Keep seeding, baby, because we're going to need you later on. Thank you, thank you. More Swiss chard over here. Yummy, yummy, yum. 
And then over there we have some red amaranth growing very, very slowly. My suspicion is that it would prefer a much more sunny location. And aside from these wonderful greens in the green garden, the only other thing that's kind of fun that's going on in here, well, when they go to seed, they're super pretty. But back here in the greens garden, we have a bunch of little grapes growing. Well, they're not growing, they are, what would you call it? I have been, um, I took cuttings from dad's grapes from his garden earlier in the season. Like it was winter time, it was super early in the season. That's when this is to be done. And then I stuck them in the ground here all along the back of this greens garden. And that's good because it stays moist back here. There's lots of coverage. And these will root and turn into grape vines. As you can see, it's been quite successful. There are several here. Here's another one here, several down there. So that's going really well. We're gonna have some grape vines back here in the future. So you can use your greens garden to propagate stuff too because it's a great place that's you know, always shaded. And if you're succession planting, it's shaded throughout the entire year. So, so now we'll take these goodies inside for my breakfast. Uh, so it's like Popeye with his spinach and uh, get into a busy day of fence building. So I hope you have great plans today, get something done, feel great about it, and most importantly, get outside and be with nature. She's got lots to teach us. Bye for now.